the old roan chase is next then and a smallish field for this one it's a grade two handicap and you probably expect it to be a bit of a bigger field but it's just the nine of them and the top one is St David's Day for Graham Clutterbuck, Demiro for Tam King, Tara's Rainbow for John Morgan, Treasure Gate and Parsons Gate are both for Jim Murray, Ralph for James Follis, Torn the Jungle for Darren Thompson, The Dark Lord for Joshua Sutherland and Deep Miss for Doug Warren. So nine then. They're at uh, Antrim, I think, aren't we? And away they go then. With two and a half miles to go. And 14 fences to take that as they make their way down towards the first of the 14. And Parsons Gate on the outside is just about in front. And they will eventually get to the first fence quite a long way already without having to do any jumping. There we go. And over it they go. And Deep Miss has moved up well on the outside. It's one of Doug's star jumpers and St David's Day though is now the leader so St David's Day is taking it up for Graham Clutterbuck as they come to the second we'll skip over that one nicely with St David's Day in the lead Demiro second then Deep Missing the Dark Lord Ralph in the dark blue jacket the light blue is ticks is tri uh, Tara's Rainbow <laughs> and the back marker is just torn the jungle so we begin to take this left handed Turn, which quite a few people don't like for some reason, and St David's Day is the leader. Then they skip over the fourth. So we're at Aintree this week, and uh, Aintree really this week, aren't they? The Grand National this weekend. So St David's Day is in the lead. Then Ralph is second, Demero is third, then Treasure Gate and Deep Miss. Then the Dark Lord Tara's Rainbows after that one. Parsons Gate is next, and then Torn the Jungle is just about the back marker as they take number five. They're all still on their feet him past the car park with all the buses coach trips the assembled throng over on the far side and make their way down towards this next fence and over it they go and a bit of a dive by Parsons Gate at the back there the second of the Jim Murray horses and I'm surprised to see two Jim Murray horses at the back of the field Treasure Gate and Parsons Gate and past these big stands now then you can see the chair and the distance as they go past the big screen and over what will be the last on the next circuit and get a view of them from the top of the stand then there they've got a swing left handed and out for another circuit and St David's Day it is it's the lead who's in the lead From Tara's Rainbow in second. Then comes Parsons Gate, who recorded from that mistake and is now um, moving through the field quite nicely. So St. David's Day is then. From Tara's Rainbow second, the Dark Lord is third, Demiro is fourth. Then comes Ralph and Parsons Gate as they skip over number eight. Good jump there by Torn the Jungle, has seen that one move into a more challenging position, but it's in David's Day in front still. Not really been challenged for the league yet at any point in this race. Really good jump there out of Torn the Jungle, and Torn the Jungle is now coming up on the outside of St David's Day and looks poised to throw down a big challenge as they take number 10 and St David's Day responds with a good jump and he's going to get the inside berth on this turn it should be worth a length or two and St David's Day in front still from Torn the Jungle second Demiro the Greys back in third then the Dark Lord and Tara's Rainbow then Ralph Parsons Gate dropping out of it again for in a funny race then Deep Mist Treasure Gate is the back marker they're over that one and they've now got just a little more than four furlongs still to go They've only got three more fences to take as well. And St David's Day's in the lead. From Torn the Jungle in second. Demero third. Then Ralph the Dark Lord now coming through with a good looking run. Deep Miss is going to try and come around the outside. Don't rule out Tara's Rainbow. They take the third from home. And it's St David's Day still in the lead. Here comes the Dark Lord now coming through to challenge. Torn Jungle is still there as well. These three are clearest between these. I think as they come down towards the second last fence then now. St David's Day. The Dark Lord. Torn the Jungle. St David's Day's over it in front. Here comes the Dark Lord. The 
Dark Lord. Milton Davis does bring the lead all the way. Funny last to the line. He's got one more fence to take as well. He comes down towards it now. And the Dark Lord just pokes his head in the front. And the Dark Lord it is. He goes on from St. David's Day and toward the jungle. Down towards the final fence. And the Dark Lord lands in the lead. But St. David's Day is trying to battle back. It's the Dark Lord. St. David's Day passes. Gate was a faller. But it's the Dark Lord. The Dark Lord looks like he's going to take it. The Dark Lord wins it. St. David's Day second and two in the jungle. And Tara's rainbow after that one. Treasure Gate was the last one to finish a bad race for Jim Murray. The Dark Lord wins it for Joshua Sutton. St. David's Day for Grand Putter. It was unlucky. Led all the way apart from on the line, really. Torn the jungle for Darren Thompson. Third. Tara's rainbow. Ghost Zapper was fourth. And Ralph for James Follis was fifth.